I walk into a knife? Yeah. Who? Nah. Netflix? See ya. Right stuff? Yes. Now that's the stuff. And we're not talking about Hostess. What is up, guys? This is Benji here bringing you guys another Right Stuff anime review video. But before I get into it, I have to give a huge shout out to Right Stuff Anime for bringing this horrific anime my way. I'm so scared. Well, not <laughs> But, yo, we're going to be talking about Boogie Pop Phantom. Yes, Boogie Pop Phantom, which is a very different anime that I'm reviewing because, like, uh, when I look back at all the other anime I reviewed, nothing like this. We're talking about horror slash psychological thriller, whichever genre you want to call it. I call it horror just to be simple, but the more exact term is psychological thriller. So why don't we go ahead and talk about the box art positives. And since we're talking about horror i mean the box art has to fit the theme right and that's one thing that i'm happy about when it comes to the box art it correlates with the genre itself and how does it do that there's an easy way to do that use dark colors use dark colors when you think horror you want to think of dark colors like Colors where it's hard to see. I can't see. I don't know where I'm going. I might walk into a wall. I might walk into a knife. <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff, right? So, I mean, I'm glad they definitely did that. That was a good idea. Not only that, but the colors is not only dark, but also clean. Um, and another thing I want to mention is the kanji, the logo there how it's bright and I like the placement of the Boogie Pop Phantom logo. It just looks really clean. Love the placement there. And so why don't we talk about something very interesting and we're gonna be talking about the back cover. Um, back cover is so interesting because of one thing and that it's its unique thumbnail style. It really fits the theme of this anime. Um, when I look back at all the anime that I reviewed previously for Right Stuff Anime, the thing that stuck out to me here is the fact that the thumbnail is more, is actually part of the background. It's not in the foreground like the characters are in, on the back of this uh, display here. The thumbnails are all the way in the back. And not only that, but the thumbnails are dark and mysterious. What is that? Oh my gosh, Roblox has come to haunt me. So why don't we go ahead and talk about what we have inside. CD cover art? Clean, baby. I just love how clean it is. You see the kanji and everything. It just looks dope. I love, I just love the design of it. You see that? Very nice stuff right there. That's the right stuff for the right price, baby. So, yeah, I really do like the presentation for the box art. Really cool stuff. So why don't we go ahead and remind you about where you can get Boogie Pop Phantom whenever you become interested in this anime. Just click on the link in the description section of below to get the right stuff for the right price. So now we're going to go ahead and talk about the story and I'm telling you the way they wrote this story uh, really blew my mind especially when I think about how uh, the story was structured and all of the other anime that I watched. It was so interesting how I struggled to figure out who the protagonist was. I mean not protagonist, well I actually did. The protagonist and main antagonist, it took a while for me to figure that out. But the name that stuck out to me the most was the Toga Organization. Because that name was thrown around many times throughout this anime. There's no way you can forget this name. Um, not only that, I do want to mention one interesting antagonist that goes by the name of Manticore. 
and that's the character that you see on the uh, presentation behind me here that I don't want to spoil too much about her because that would be a huge spoil so I don't want to mention that but she is strongly tied to the toga or um, toga organization um, so why don't we go ahead and talk about them so obviously when it comes to anime in general 80% of the time is going to be someone or some group that wants to control the world. But the way they mentioned it was pretty different. It was mentioned that the organization wanted to control the world by preventing it from moving forward. Now, that's an interesting way to say it instead of, Oh, they're going to try to take over the world. But it's the same thing. Um, pretty much, here's how they're doing this now. They want the world to stand still, and it's so interesting how they use those words because of the simple fact that evolution is a strong uh, correlation to it. Because there are humans that actually evolved beyond um, your average human to where they developed some kind of supernatural ability, and this organization wants to get their hands on that power so that they can use it to not only take control of the world but also use that same power to get rid of people that they would see as potential threats so pretty interesting pretty interesting indeed so why don't we go ahead and get into talking about the two protagonists that i chose now there are two that stuck out to me the most and that is uh nagi and Toga. So why don't we go ahead and talk about their motivations. They're both, they're both those kinds of humans that I talked about. They're both humans that actually evolved. Um, and so they, they both escaped the hospital that was actually run by the Toga organization. And so Nagi, we'll start by talking about Nagi. Now Nagi is interesting. She's a school student. And she was saved by a man that goes by the name of, what was his name again? Uh, sheesh, what was that man's name? His name's Karoga. Karoga? Karoga. Karoga. Jesus. Karoda. Karoda. Jesus. Karoda. There you go. Karoda. It's Karoda. Karoda. Tag Karoda. Karoda. Six and a half hours later. Jeez, friends, it took you this long to remember this man's name. His name is Kuroda. Jeez. Kuroda is the man that saves Nagi. So, uh, man. Kuroda um, talked to her before the incident. He talked, they had a talk. And he always talked about using his talents to save the world. And so... The moment that he died saving her was the moment that Nagi developed the Messiah Complex and she decided that she's going to take it upon herself to save the world and she went after the Toga organization ever since. Um, she's very aggressive, straightforward, but she's a genius. Yes, a genius. And not only that, but she has superhuman ability so like i said before hopefully i did say it i don't know if i did i'm sure i did but just to make sure nagi is one of those um humans that actually evolved beyond you know um human limitations so she's one of those superhumans. and so why don't we go ahead and talk about the next character the next character that is a protagonist, and she goes by the name of Toga. And um, Toga is an interesting one because she's also a school student. She's a survivor. She escaped. I don't know how she escaped yet. Um, I watched a lot of it, but I didn't get far enough to uh, learn her backstory as far as how she escaped. Um, but Toga is a very kind person. Um, free spirit type of person um, and her supernatural ability 
correlates with this split personality that she developed. And she is the one known as Boogie Pop. And she has a special ability to destroy the experiments or view or the fake humans or the synthetic humans basically the the experiment the experiment what's the word experimental beings that i talked about earlier the beings that um uh, the toga organization created not only that she provides cryptic warnings to people that are in danger especially when it comes to people that are closely tied to the incidents um, revolving around the Toga organization. So, it was, it took me a while to, to figure this all out. I mean, it's crazy, and, uh, that's why I want to go ahead and talk about the unique form of storytelling when it comes to this anime. It's crazy, dude. It's mental. It blows my mind. And so, let's go ahead and talk about that, because, like, as I was watching this, it was like every episode was sharing the plot through different perspectives of characters. So it's like you're learning about so many different characters and I spent a lot of time trying to figure out, okay, who's this person? How's this person um, involved with this other guy? Or how, what role do they play? Are they a victim? Are they support, or are they an antagonist, or they're some kind of protagonist? What's their angle? And I was literally trying to figure that out time and time again. It was very interesting, because there were a lot of students that were just victims, or there were students that actually developed their own powers, and you learn about that through every episode. So you cannot miss a single episode, and I'm definitely going to tell you why that is. Because the way the story is told, every episode literally overlaps with one another. They correlate with each other in some way. They're, oh boy. There was like so many times when you watch an episode and you'll see the same scene like two to three times in different episodes. So I would wind up asking myself, why do I keep seeing this pregnant lady? Or why is this guy wowing out? Because like, uh, to give you an example, um, the earlier episodes that I watched when I first started watching it, there was this guy and he was being restrained by the police and he just looked crazy in the face and it was, they were having a hard time holding, you know, holding him back. And I'm like, why is this dude wowing out like this? The dude was insane. And I got that answer through the perspective of another character from a later episode. And I'm like, oh, this is why this dude is acting like that. It was like that aha moment. And it was like, it was pretty impressive because you literally have to make sure that you see every single episode. Because if you skip episodes, then you could miss out on a lot because there's so many different connections. I mean, I almost, it took me longer to do this review because of the fact that I had to do a lot of rewatching just because of how unique the storytelling is. Yes, the pacing is a bit slow not gonna deny that the pacing was slow but it was slow with a purpose in mind and that's the thing that i appreciate about the story of boogie pop phantom it's like not every character plays some kind of role and that was really unique about this anime so let's go ahead and talk about the presentation and this was really unique i've never seen any it well, it's not that I've never seen it, but you don't see it a whole lot. Because um, I remember um, when I watched No Game, No Life, that was like the only anime that I've seen that went crazy with the use of color. And this anime is no exception. Um, but instead of bright colors, 
it's like really dark and washed out colors and it's purposely used that way because think about it you're talking about horror here so usually you want to use like dark dreary colors and stuff like that to really kind of like create the mood create that scary vibe kind of thing but if you look at the picture that i have up there it's very interesting look at the edges look at the egg look at the edges of the picture um and how it looks all blurred out like that like when you're watching the anime like majority of the anime looks exactly like that where like the edges look all blurred out and distorted colors being washed out it's really dark and mysterious and i feel like that's the that's the angle that they wanted to go and it looked pretty cool and unique and it was that kind of thing that kept me watching because of how different it was now the next thing that i wanted to talk about that caught my ears didn't catch my eye because it was noises is the is the voices would often become distorted in strange ways and usually when that's done it's usually to create some kind of feeling and in this case it was like intensifying unsettling moments because there was like in the earlier episodes that i watched i don't want to spoil it because i felt like that was pretty dark there was a moment that was quite freaking creepy um i don't want to share too much because it was very unsettling for uh some of the ladies out there it could be quite unsettling especially when it comes to you know women being stopped and stuff like that is like relatable to that so i don't want to spill too many of the beans i just wanted to give you that little bit right there you can't call a horror movie or a psychological movie or anime creepy without creepy music and they definitely supply that with a big old bucket of gore. So <laughs> I definitely wouldn't recommend uh, allowing children to see this anime because it's pretty freaking dark. So I, I wanted to put that warning out there. I wanted to put out that disclaimer. So guys, I'm going to tell you again. If you're into some really cool storytelling, I feel like you're not going to be disappointed with this one. Um, one thing that I will say, though, the English voice acting wasn't bad. But, I mean, it could have been a bit better. I'm just giving you my honest opinion on that. But one thing that I will say, those of you that want to keep up with the plot, I would recommend the English dub if you're not used to watching anime with subtitles because there is a lot that you do have to keep up with and you could potentially find yourself rewinding a lot of times if you're not able to keep up with the subtitles because when it comes to this an anime right here is is plot heavy it's very plot heavy you miss a little bit you could probably miss a lot so Definitely make sure to keep those eyes and ears open when you're watching this. Um, I really enjoyed it because of the unique style that this anime offered. Not only in the art direction, but in the storytelling direction as well. So, if that piques your interest, make sure to check out the right stuff for the right price by clicking on that link in the description section below. And this is Venge, and I'm signing out. But before I do that, it's time to get on with my finishing quote, which is, And remember, if you want the right stuff, then go to rightstuffanime.com. Have a good night, good day, peace and God bless. See you next time.